Yeah. Oh, I just nosed your screen. There you go. Hey, it's Rich Birdsall, and we're at another episode of Odd Jobs. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but most everything, everything you buy, all your food, everything, comes in here in a couple of different methods. Train, tractor, trailer. They gotta keep running, too. It's just like any other mechanical device. You have to do maintenance on it. Well, today, we are at Lang Truck and Trailer, and with me is Dale. How are you, Dale? Good, Rich. Um, so I guess what we're gonna do today, apparently, is what? An alignment? We're doing alignment on a Peterbilt that we have out here. That's a big um, one. That's, that's a big, a big truck. rig. Yeah, it's a yeah. big tractor. So, and that's what we do. And yeah, we do them on these, but we also yep. do smaller trucks as well. So, uh, mine's okay. Just came back from the mechanic. Okay. Let's go <laughs> see what we can do. All right. Sounds great. All right. This is one of our technicians, Jake from C here. That's a flying truck and trailer. Yep. And he does a lot of alignments. So I have the alignment master. You got the alignment master. So. Okay, so. Well, Jake, you want to get to work? Sure. All right. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to bend an axle. We're going to bend an axle. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know if I've got the, the strength of that. Hopefully, you have some tools. Yeah, that's how I have this have it set up. All right. Just like that. Yep. Just make sure it's. And these, these are air jacks, right? Yeah, these are. I think they're 120 ton. Of right. Piece. So that'll lift a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Gotcha. So. We got them all set up. Yep. Got our hydraulic hoses. Everything's good. Yep, and you're going to hit the go button and this truck's going to go up in the air, right? Yep. And that's what you mean by bending an axle. Right, we're going to bend it because it's negative right now. Alright, so just no, do it by the thumb. Because you've got it clamped down, right? right? Yep. So, on a car, they just move some bolts and stuff and then all of a sudden stuff's in place. You right. actually have to bend the axle to get it to work. Yes. Awesome. Let's bend an axle. All right, so we're looking for green all the way around yep. here, right? I got one green light yep. over here. One's already in green, and this, then, is, this is the one we gotta fix. Right, so the camber's off. Right. All right, so now we have to adjust the pressure between the two jacks, Yes. correct? All right, do it. Right. All right, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna release the air, and then we're gonna watch that turn into all green. This is the way we bent it, right? Right. Now when we let it down, it'll just move this way. Sure. And it should be all set, right? Maybe. All right, let's go watch the screen. Now these two, this should do this. Get bent more. Looks like we're way off. Looks like we gotta get bent. Let's go. That's good. Now, we're letting all the pressure that we just put on the axle do its thing. And I'm wondering, Jake, what, what is this? These are the heads we use to determine the cast on camber, the okay. tall yeah. at all. So we uh, stick them on lug nuts here, secure them down, yep. and put the side of these in, tighten those down on both sides. Right. And that will show you all your numbers. And where, where everything's set at. Right. Now, like I know what cast the camera and tow is, but why don't you explain to everybody else what it is? Because I'm sure we've got some people out there that have never worked on their car before. They drop it off the mechanic, and you might not know what a cast or camber or a tow is. Right. Your cast and camber is it's what adjusts your tires in and out. Yep. So by doing running the axle, we're going to be pulling the tires either in or out, depending on what the computer tells us. Right, because we want them straight. So the truck isn't all right. over the road, right. which is probably a pretty good thing, not having the truck float all over the road. We're back in the truck right now because earlier, off camera, this fine gentleman already added shims to the axle. Now, what's happening here is you're trying to figure out where the load's gonna be and make this thing handle as best as you can, correct? So, what we're actually trying to do when we put the shims in is move these axles backward or forward. So, he had to add these into here. If you magically zoom up in here, you'll see that the shim is moving the entire axle forward just a little bit, but just that much is enough to make sure that the tow happens correctly. All right, so there we did, linemans, starters. I made a mess, we bent axles. Jake, thanks so much for all of your guidance, seriously. Dale, thanks so much we're for having us out here today. It was know, pretty awesome. We just touched on a few things, but we, you know, we you do, do a lot, lot here. We do a lot here. Yeah, and, maybe know. next time I'll come back and do brakes. I've been dying to do brakes on something. Yeah, we always have brakes. So yeah, yeah. I, I can get brakes done on a car in like 20 minutes. This, I'd like to try. Yeah. 
So there it is, it's Odd Jobs, yet another episode. We're at Lang Industries right over here in Binghamton. Stick with us, we're gonna show everybody what you do. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, uh, I was working on a starter. You told me to change the starter? Yeah, it's a dollar over there. All right, fine. I lost my ring. Just give me a minute. 